Call call right I love Noah him too. Look, Jesus love you. I love Noah, him too. Where is next? Yeah, Noah. That's Christian God now. God says to Noah. Yeah. He says this. I, I am sorry. I repent oh. that I made oh, man. Oh, do be loved. That I made man. So he regrets. Yeah, he, what, because man was so wicked. He didn't know that. So wicked. Did God not know that? But you see, God is all wise. Know that. Yes, he knows. No, no, but repenting. Mind, yeah? This is a lie against God. Everybody look, look, look. Mind. Repenting, no repenting. When you turn away from something you did, which is wrong, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay, so but that God that's God. God does God do wrong? No. No. So therefore, the this statement, the statement that God repented, is a statement that was made by the scribes who were lying against God. That's why Jesus come and come. Yeah, 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 listen, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look. I've shown you many verses, many proofs in the Bible, intellectual ways why you cannot trust the Bible. You cannot trust the, even the, the teaching, even Jesus, and many. But you still following the falsehood. So therefore, don't blame the day of judgment when you're going to be in the hellfire. It's not a joke matter. Yeah, it's not a joke. That's the reality. That's the reality. Day of judgment will lie. That's the reality. Because the biggest crap against God when you turn away from Him. You think that as a joke? Yeah, we know you turn away from God. No, no, I'm still there. We'll just You don't worship God. You don't worship the God of Jesus. You don't worship the God of Jesus. You know, you worship Paul. Follow him, Paul. Yes. You follow Paul's teaching. God of Abraham. I follow Paul. I did follow yeah, Paul. This is where follow Paul. Yeah, but why? He doesn't follow Paul. Why do you I follow, follow Paul? Paul? Because I tell you why. Yeah. Because Paul followed Jesus. Prove that to me. Paul. Prove that to on me. On Damascus Road. Yeah, Acts, let me tell you. Acts, Acts, Acts chapter 8. Yeah. yeah. Paul was a murderer of Christians. That's right. And on his way to Damascus. Blame. How do you know? How does this happen to him? How do you know? Okay. Because the Lord spoke to him. How do you know he spoke to him? Yeah, Paul said it to you. It's written. It's written by who? By Paul. It's written. Yes, because. So you. It's not like me. How do you know she's this truthful? Because Shem says no, truthful. No, no, Jesus said no. no, no, no. What about the circular reasoning? That's a circular reasoning. What about the circular reasoning? What about the circular reasoning? That's a circular reasoning. How do you know Shem says truthful? Because Shem says so. No, they said so. No, they said so. How do you know Paul said it? Because Paul said it. How do you know Paul said it? Because Paul said it. Yeah, yeah. But I cannot verify it. That's why the beauty of Islam. Islam becomes verified. Cornelius. Cornelius. One moment. One moment. Cornelius. Second. 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 Again. How do you know that Paul is saying that to you? You taking it like Paul is saying. Jesus never told you directly Paul. that's what happened. No, you taking, let me ask you, you taking it from Paul. Like from Paul. Paul. Uh, no, can you just go to Paul from Jesus? Paul, Paul says, follow, follow me as I follow Christ. Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. Paul, 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 you say you're so following Paul, you're following Christ. No, who just circumcised? Who just circumcised? Circumcised? Yes, oh, yes, he was. was Paul, was, did Paul tell you to circumcise yourself or not? No. Yeah, that's you're not following Jesus then. No, no. Because he said we follow for Jesus, but Jesus to get circumcised. Circumcision. No, 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 no. Circumcision no, now. I don't like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like your respect. I honor you for that. Thank you. Because I show you, I see you show respect, and that's good. If all Muslims could learn a bit more respect, it would help you. No, no, Muslim okay. protecting me. Well, I'm the Muslim very well, Okay. okay. Now, now, as I'm saying, Paul yeah. followed Christ. And the reason why Paul was able to follow Christ is because he had an encounter. He, that means he had an experience. Personal he, experience. Yes, that exactly. Office. And so, so now, because if you read the story of Paul, he was a Pharisee, one That's that right. was very educated, right? Yes. In knowledge, in every area, in yeah. the laws. Now, he had an encounter with Jesus. Then Paul realized that all that he learned was just dumb. It was filth. And he had encountered that that made him to realize that the only way he could be saved was by coming to faith in Jesus Christ. So what I'm saying, my brother, is this. I know you've been patient. Yeah, is this, good. that the only way for mankind, for salvation, we can be very intellectual, up to the top, theologians, you name it. But except you come to a basic, fundamental belief that Jesus Christ loves you enough to die for you, then you you are finished, finished, yeah? So now let me let me tell you something. You see how you explained it? That like Jesus, I would explain it a different way. I would say Paul, when he noticed the true followers of Jesus, were not backing down after he, because he was killing them. What he did, he changed the tactic. He claimed that he was on the way to Damascus and Jesus came to him. Not if someone a murderer, a liar, evil person. He goes, imagine today, you have someone who is known here in the park to be murderer, evil person, killing innocent people. He goes to Damascus. And he comes back and he said, you know what? What's your name by the way, sir? Robert. Robert, yeah? Uh, Robert said, Robert, you know what happened? On the way to Damascus, I saw Jesus. And he said, he's not the son of God. Would you believe him? 
he's not the son of God. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. I wouldn't believe him because okay, me, the reason why. No, no, but hear me yes, out. Yes. Both uh, individuals, they were murderers, and both of them, they had a, a, a personal experience with Jesus, but yet you're not going to believe the second one. Because why? The second one, you're going to tell me, he's going to oppose the first one. But the first one, he told you that story. Who told you the story? No, is the liar. Us, yeah? Is the liar who lied, who was a murderer and the killer of Christianity. Well, told you, he me, yeah, yeah, yeah. told you that story. That's called circular reasoning. Okay? How do you know Shamsi is truthful? Because Shamsi said so. There's no proof because Shamsi said it. That is called circular reasoning. That's what you're doing. Secondly, Jesus, Paul was not following Jesus. Jesus, when the young boy came to him, he said, Oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He said, Keep the commandments of God. Keep what? The commandments of God. What is that? The Torah, the law. He, the young boy said, I've been doing it since I was young. Jesus said to him, But you are lacking one thing. He said, What is it? He said, For, Gives you wealth away and follow me. At that time, because we believe the best people to clarify the truth are the prophets and the messengers. And one of them is Jesus. He never said to him, Believe I'm gonna die for your sins and you'll be saved. Paul came later on, yeah. who had a problem with Simon, and he had a problem with the uh, he had a problem with Simon. I don't can't remember the name. The point here is, he came with this teaching. It's not about the law anymore. It's about the faith. You know, it's not about the law anymore. That's why you don't follow the law of the Torah anymore. So my point here, I can bring you many examples that Jesus, Paul, doesn't not follow Jesus. Jesus worshipped God alone. He prayed to God alone. You understand? Paul, he came that Jesus is God and this is nonsense. Mm. Understand? So there's many examples I can give okay, you. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you said what, what you said. But what did you go ask him? Okay. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard what you said. Now, that is your personal belief. Okay? That's no, fine. that's no, no. That's no, a, no, there's, 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 that's a, fine. there's an explanation based upon history, historical okay, proofs. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's go. So on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit because. Muhammad. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad. We have Jesus. Yeah, we have Jesus too. Okay, no, you, uh, okay. But, but you have another Jesus. But I won't go into that. No. Okay, but I'll go, go into this. Um, Jesus came before Muhammad. That's right. Okay, now... Moses came before Jesus. That's fine. Yeah. Now, but, but even so, he was before. But, but still, that's not So issue. before Kamu? What do you mean? Jesus was before Muhammad. But, but yeah, yeah, I understand. And, and, be <laughs> and before Moses. Jesus? Yes. Jesus. Okay. Ah. I, I won't go there yet. Yeah, yeah. That's the way you believe. Yeah. I'll deal with this first because. Yeah. So we see Jesus came first. Yeah. And he brought the message, and the message of Jesus Christ was this: Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Okay. I am the one whom God has sent. Okay. Now, listen to all what Jesus said. He says he is the Savior. He's the Son of God. He's a son of man. And all these titles. Now, the point I'm, I'm making is this. Jesus came first. Muhammad came after. With another message. What does that message. mean? What does okay. that mean? I'm, make, I'm making a point. That's yeah, a logical I, way. I Prophet yeah, Muhammad. I just, I'm making a point. I yeah, it's irrelevant. Yeah. I'm, I'm making a point. Go on, Uncle that's what, uh, Robert. The, yeah, the point is this. Muhammad came with a message from Gabriel that he said he saw. Gabriel spoke to him and gave him the message in the cave. Jesus came first with the message and, and Mary was met by Gabriel and Gabriel, the same angel who Muhammad claimed, came to him, spoke, first, first spoke to Mary and says, you're going to have a son and this son shall be called the son of God. Then the point I'm making still is this, Muhammad came after and says, God have no son. Okay, so, the, okay. But so, you, 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 so, so you have no debt with my point, but I'm going to deal with your point because my point is there is a historical proofs to show us that Paul was lying. You know, he was not trustworthy. One of the things, when Paul went to Jerusalem and he met with half Jesus, Jesus half brother Simon, he said, is it true that you're going around saying it's not about the Torah anymore, it's about the law? He said, if this is the case, slaughter the sheep in the, in, in the temple. But we can go back to Paul's letters and he said that. He said it's not about the law, it's about the faith. As for the Prophet Muhammad oh, okay, yeah. Prophet Muhammad when he came with a revelation, he did not just come with belief in me, he came with the proofs and evidences. We can share it with everyone to establish he's a messenger of Allah. Secondly, who told us that Allah doesn't have a son is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who exists before everyone. He has no beginning, no end. My point here is that even 
God having a son, that is a human nature. It's not the almighty nature. You understand? Even rationally, doesn't make any sense. The almighty, the great, the most high to have a son. And what is a son? Human being. But God is not a human being. It's like bringing a cow and bringing a chicken. And he said the chicken is a child of the, the, the cow. The cow is a cow chicken. What about God, the almighty? You're limiting yes. God. No, no, I'm not. You're limiting God. Again. God is great. I believe God is great. No, 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 no doubt. Know, you know when you say you're limiting God, this ambiguous term, it's an ambiguous term. There's a difference between what God does and what God is. What God is, if he become a human being, he's already becoming limited. And that God angers his nature to be the Almighty. So in the reality, the Christians limit God by making him human being. Because like human beings are uh, limited. So to refute the argument, we don't limit, we say Allah is the all-powerful, but Allah does not contradict his nature to be the greatest all the time, perfect all the time. My point is to you that whatever you talk about Jesus, let me go to, you know what, let me go to the foundation. Whatever you say about Jesus, you never heard it from Jesus. You heard it from people. You don't know their full names. What you see, the difference. To finish it. The difference is. To your, finish your it. Jesus is not the same Jesus as the Bible. Your Jesus I agree. is another Jesus. I agree right? that Jesus the Bible is so not Jesus of so, that. So it's very clear. Oh, so you, so you're cutting me up now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Robert, got, Robert, I've got, Robert. I've got five. No, minutes. Robert, Robert. This what the Bible? What Bible is that? King James. Yes. King James was it given to you by the writers? of the gospel directly or King James is based upon the manuscript? The Bible is the word of God. So no, no, King James, King James. The yeah. It's based yes. upon the manuscript. Yes. And that manuscript, how many years was written after Jesus and after yeah. writers? Yeah, you're going into areas which is scriptures. Okay, now I can't remember how many years. I'll tell you how many years. Let me help you, Robert. The earliest manuscript that you have, which is the full manuscript for the New Testament, literally after Prophet Muhammad's time. So you come, yeah, you have to put my hands on something, fully one. They have, they have small manuscripts, some like a samples and everything, 200 years after the writers, 300, but the full one, literally after Prophet Muhammad's time. And that manuscript, that Bible is based upon it. So like Bart Ehrman said, and William Wallace, who is a Christian preacher, who is, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, born again Christian and so on, he's, he's, he agrees that the King James and other Bibles that we have printed one, they are based upon the manuscript that they take from is a is a copy of 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 the original one. So literally, someone a hundred years come after Paul and Mark and Luke and Matthew and John, and he said Jesus said this. Paul said that. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, hear me out. We don't know their names. We don't know if they're trustworthy or not. Yet you are trusting them. Doesn't make any sense. I trust as for the, the Lord. Astray, no, astray, no, man. I trust Robert, in the Robert, Lord. Let's be rational. You trust this Bible, King James. Yes, I, I, I trust it. I believe you it. You trust what it said there. Yes, because it's oh, the word of the Lord. It's based upon manuscripts. Yes. Who wrote that manuscript? The manuscript. Yeah, who wrote it? Tell me who wrote it. No, I, I don't follow it. You follow it. You tell us who wrote it. Okay. Well, I, this is what I'll tell you. All scriptures are inspired by God. That is a statement yes. by Paul, but that statement is based upon a manuscript. And it's no, no. profitable. Robert, Robert, I respect. We have a nice discussion. Robert, that statement Paul said it, yeah? And I can prove to you, even from within the Bible, he got against what Luke said. Luke clearly said, people passed down narrations to him. He was not inspired. Forget all of that. That statement you just caught, how do you know, how do you know it was said by God? Because that statement okay. is, an, let me ask you, that statement is in a manuscript, came, a hundred years after, by written by people who don't know them. But Again, go back to my point. God has, has, has already prophesied in Genesis. When Adam fall, when man fall, God has already prophesied that, that it would come through the, the woman Yes, Robert. Again, you know, know the that. manuscript, you, Robert. You know that, Robert. We have a nice, respect, in, respectful in Genesis uh, chapter discussion. three. Robert, who wrote the manuscript which um, King James is based upon? Shamsi, Shamsi. We don't know it, and I tell you, we don't know. I don't know. It. I don't know okay. it. I, not just you, know it. no, Robert, Robert. Not just you. you I'm not. I'm not trying to make disrespect to you. Even the Christian scholars do not know who wrote that manuscript, but you trust it because it's old and it's that's it. But we don't know if they were trustworthy, truthful. As for the Quran, the Quran will not like you. Because we go dig in a cave and found a manuscript and we just follow it. No, Jesus. the Quran is a living thing. What do I mean by living thing? Meaning that we recite it all the times. Literally, if the Jews and the Christians and the Muslims decided to burn the scriptures, 
The only scripture that will remain with us is the Quran, because it has been memorized by hundreds of millions of people who have never been lost. You know what, As for God? the Bible, your scholars they haven't even memorized one chapter from your gospel. You know what God says? Memorized. And Allah you mentioned that in the Quran. That is a prophecy, Robert. Oh, Allah mentioned that in the Quran 1,400 years ago. We have Allah sent the Quran, we have sent down scripture and we will preserve it. That is a claim. Can we verify it? Yes, we can verify it right now. And it is the truth. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. It's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. A B O, A B O, whatever I say, A B C. Okay, let us see, let us see. I get older now. Yeah, when you get older, take notes from you. Yeah, but coming back. Listen, listen. Okay, okay, let us add the alphabet. Yeah, A B C. No, me have the mentor. You have the mentor. Don't blame everyone. Come on, listen. It's like someone who says, I don't believe everyone. Everyone, no, no. You are, you are, you know, you are. Amen, amen. You are like someone who says, everyone's a liar. So someone said, even you. All right. You can keep it. I don't believe. If you say I'm a liar, then. For his stated, it was a lie, it's a lie. You know, keep it all the time. Listen, 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 and we can uh, um, put over what, what, what we believe intellectually. But the bottom line is what I'm saying, my brother, is that yeah, it's a gift we you need to come you. You. to a personal faith in Jesus Christ, the Almighty, acknowledging that Jesus Christ. Prove that is, Jesus said that. Prove that is. Jesus said that. Prove it. Yeah, Jesus said that. That is in the King James, which is based upon the manuscript. But it is God. You believe Jesus is God? Yeah. I'll show you. Hold it. No, no, I didn't say that. I said, proof Jesus said, <laughs> whatever you're going to say, yeah, proof Jesus said it. Let me look in, let me look in, let me look proof in any statement you're going to quote to me. No, wait, wait. Any statement you're going to quote to me about Jesus, proof Jesus said it to me. Because you don't have it from Jesus directly. You have it by people you don't know them. How do you know they never misquote Jesus? Because you don't know if they're trustworthy or not. But we know Abu Bakr Siddiq. Abdul Khattab, Azma bin Affan, Ali bin Abi Talib, Abdul Rahman bin Sakhar, we know Mu'awad bin Sufyan, we know Ali bin Abi Talib, we know Anas bin Malik, we know Abdul Rahman bin Auf, we know Abdul Rahman bin Ubaidullah, we know Abdul Rahman bin Malik, we know them Abu Al-Walid, Al-Walid bin Mughira, Khad Al-Walid bin Mughira, Al-Makhzumi, we know their full names. No, you can't trust me, let's turn the Who's John? Tell me John's second name. Wait, wait. No one knows second name. You can't trust me. You're jumping, you're jumping. You can't trust me. So I cannot trust you. No, what I'm saying to you. You make me do it. You can't trust me, so I cannot trust you then. You will put up. So you can't trust me or not? No, I mean, you too. Pull them, you too. You put somebody. Can you trust me or not? Please, I want to answer the man. To represent you. I want to answer the man. Can you trust me or not? Put somebody to represent you. Change the thing. You know, you have some strong accent. Sometimes I can't understand what you say. Like you mean. No, tell me what. Let's say. Can you trust? Can you trust the man or not? You can't just even say. No, so where are you trusting the Bible there? No, no, where are you trusting John no, and Mark? No, no, this. Um, it's okay. Well, this was the disciples, they're man. But they're a man, they're a woman or man? Yeah? No, what I'm saying. They're not disciples. You see, he's no, arguing no, and guessing. No, no, he said, don't trust no, no man by trusting Paul and John. Who no, are them, a man? Them, them say I'm a disciple. Okay, okay. okay. But they're a man. No, follow the disciples. But they're a man. No, I'm following the disciples. So should we trust the man or not? Yeah? Yeah? Jesus. No, I'm not trust myself. Jesus. No, should we trust the man? We can't get weak. I didn't say you're a weak old man. Jesus. 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 Okay. Allah know. knows, yeah, Allah. Okay. You know, Jesus was no. not going around saying, Jesus. I believe in one He was not doing that. Okay, I believe So you're doing something which never did. Okay. Jesus was saying, God, God. Ilai, Ilai, Ilai. Like us, Allah. Two minutes, two minutes, two, two minutes. Two, two minutes. Yeah. What is this? Where are you going to? Uh, no, no, street? <laughs> two minutes. Okay. What are you about? There's only one, yeah. Um, that there's only one God and he sits on the throne. And that Jesus shows himself here that he is God. Yeah, I'm going to read it for you. I know you have your own understanding, but let me just speak what the word of God says, what is written, because it's not my words. How do you know that's the word of God? That's okay. someone said it, how do you know? Okay, how do I know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will tell you. Some years ago, I had a personal encounter from God. That's not, that's not. Right? That, 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 Hindu says same you thing. You asked me a question, brother. But Robert, that's the same thing. Brother, I can't utilize that. Brother, okay, go. You, you asked me a question. But Hindu so can I'm say the same thing, Yes, Albert. they can. And so can so you. So how do you know which one's true? Okay. Both okay. your personal experience. Okay, my, my experience is this. God came to me. Right? God came to you in dream? Yeah, no, no dream. In the real life? Yes, in How real life. How do you know life. that was God? Good question. 
because I was not a believer. I didn't go to church. Okay. Never read the Bible. Okay. I had no thought about God. Yeah. I used to womanize, drinking, partying, okay. living for money, wanted cars and all these nice things. But one morning, the Lord came by his spirit and I heard the voice of the Lord spoke to me and says, do you believe in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? I was in tears because I never went to church. That's a Satan. And, and bear with me. Okay. That's your point of view. Now, okay, as, how do you as I experienced, okay, yeah. hear me out, please, brother. All right, tell a little bit. As I experienced that, yeah. I was in tears and God revealed that the Bible is true and we are living in the last days. And as, as I experienced that, I experienced the forgiveness of my sins. God forgave my sins straight away. As, as I said, yes, I believe. Now, I was living on the seventh floor block of flat, I rise flat. Actually, it's eighth floor with the ground floor. I find myself now going towards the window, but I couldn't stop myself. I knew exactly what was happening, but I couldn't stop myself. But the Lord told me, you're going to be all right. Okay. Next so, moment, hear me out. Oh, sorry, I thought you finished. Yes, yes. I know I'm speaking slowly because I wanted to hear clearly. Yeah. Now, I find myself outside the window. As I find myself outside the window, I'm hanging on for dear life. Finally, I release my own as I'm rapidly falling towards the ground. God opened my mouth and I, and, and I called that Ja. As I said Ja, a voice says to me, you are saved. Supernaturally, God brought me away from the concrete over to the grass verge. We are made a seven inch hole in the grass. I was not a Rastafarian. I had no particular beliefs. I was not looking for God. I never read the Bible. And God revealed himself to me that Jesus Christ is God. So, but the Hindu has the same, some Hindu and a Sikh so, and a Muslim have experienced like that. Does that prove? Wait, wait. You, is God, wait, wait, the God is not out of confusion, correct? I agree. Okay, it's so now that's confusion. You know why? Because you can bring a Hindu, tell you the same story of yours, but he tell you the God of Hinduism saved him. That's why. So you two, you cannot establish the truth objectively. Yeah, yeah. We don't know if it's Every true or man. not. Secondly, maybe say they come to you. How can you prove that it's God? You cannot prove it. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, because remember, even Jesus said in your Bible, he said, how many people come after me? And they would do signs and wonders, miracles. Even miracles doesn't make it true. According to the Bible, even if a miracle happened to you, according to Jesus, doesn't mean well, what you. Good wait, wait. No, I mean, I mean, I mean. He never hey, listened to me. You know. I listen. You see, I, I listen very well. You, uh, listen carefully. You used to go. You used to womanize. You used to do this, that. Then one day you was in a flat, in the seventh floor. You yeah. had the ground floor. I was saying very well. Yeah. You, you, you told me your life story, and you, you, you threw yourself. Say you threw yourself. I said Jay. You said Jay. Jack, ja, 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 you meet up, chicken jack. Ja. 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 Chicken jack. Ja. Now, now remember, now we have to finish this thing. Robert, Robert, that is not. That, hey, look, look. According to Jesus, even a false prophet can have a miracles. So even if it's a miracle happening to you, I, 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 let me to finish. Come on, let me to finish, please. According to Jesus, what happened to him doesn't not prove nothing. So therefore, your story doesn't prove nothing. That's the beauty of Islam. No. The beauty of Islam, I don't, because uh, I have my personal experience as well, how my life changed. But I don't say to non Muslims, a Christian, become a Muslim because of my personal experience. That's a personal experience. Maybe I'm lying, maybe I'm misquoting. But Islam is based okay. upon okay. universal okay. proofs. Again, Robert, before we finish, how do you know what is being said in the Bible was said actually by God? How can you trust the people that you don't know? Okay. How can I'm you trust the people who don't know? Okay. Question. I don't trust people who I don't know. I hold don't, hold I don't, on the I only trust God. Hold on the no. script. Okay. But no, Robert, hold on the manuscript. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Are they trustworthy? Okay. I, I don't know. But, but so you trust them? I trust, trust, I trust God. God. I trust you trust people who don't know. Don't know. Yeah. That's the point. I trust Robert, God. you just... You trust in the Quran. Robert, God never spoke to you directly. Yes, you yes, are... No, how do you know that was God? Okay. You don't know that was God. I'll tell, tell you why. No, Robert, Robert, hear me out. Robert, again, to finish. How do I know? How do I know? Hear me out. Take my question very well. That you have a manuscript, you have a Bible, the King James is based upon the manuscript. The manuscript, no one knows who wrote it, okay? I, you could describe my personal experience. I'll tell you this sister, there's a brother, listen, listen, there's a friend of mine, he's a Jamaican, yeah? His wife is Jamaican too. He became Muslim before her. One night, one night, wait a minute, one night, hear me out, one night she went to a nightclub, yes? He said she left to go to a nightclub at 9 p.m. Three o'clock in the morning, she waking me up, and she, my friend is telling me the story, yeah? She's telling me where is the place they sell Jilbab. He, he said, I'm half sleep, half sleep. She's telling me Jilbab. Then 9 o'clock in the morning, she left the house. She came back with Jilbab. She said, I want to become Muslim now. 
She said, what? He said to her, what happened? She said, when I was in nightclub, I saw Satan, everything. And she recited some verses from the Quran that he taught her and it was, she was saved. And now this story is a proof for her. Okay, I can utilize it to say Islam is the truth because of that. Do you understand? That's the beauty of Islam. Christians, they have too many personal experience. I was walking the alleyway, Jesus came to me. How do you know that Jesus is white? Jesus is not white. Blue eyes. That is Stephen, man, not Jesus. You're missing the point. All right, take care of yourself, Robert. Now I guide you. Here, yeah, as a gift. No, thank you. All right, take I've care got of Jesus. I've got right, God. Take care of I have to go, Shah. It was nice talking to you. Take care of yourself. You. Jesus loves you. I love him too. Hallelujah. <laughs> Follow